this one from the main card of UFC Fuel on TV 7 uh, last Saturday night. Great fight this was between the co-main event, in fact, between uh, Dustin Poirier and Cub Swanson. Um, Swanson was originally uh, due to fight uh, Dennis Seaver, but Seaver's in, injured. But these are still two guys who are definitely top top, uh, top contenders in the 145-pound division. People are queuing up to fight the uh, champion, Jose Aldo, who obviously beat Frankie Edgar um, a couple of weeks ago. Um, in this fight, I think if I was scoring it, I'd have given it Swanson round one, Poirier round two, and Cub Swanson round three. Um, I felt that Swanson was so aggressive in the first round. It was really impressive to see. He was putting everything behind his punches. He said in the post-fight press conference, he says, three round fights hurt. I'm looking to get it done in one, <laughs> which is uh, which is great to hear and, and fair enough. You know, uh, Both guys are tough. They will be aching now, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, it was good to see he was putting all the punches. I think his aggression, um, his increased activity would have nicked in that round. The second, second round, Poirier, the more technical striker for sure, seemed to do more damage. He was more... Professional kept it a distance, really sort of technical striking, which is good to see. And obviously the third round, Poirier was sort of picking him off with punches and strikes. And I was thinking, oh, this could be Poirier's fight. He could have brought, brought an impressive comeback after the first fight. But then, uh, but then, um, Cub Swanson goes and goes and drags him to the floor, takes him down, and uh, and the rest is the rest is history. He wins the round, beats him up nicely. It was interesting to see they were they said they were talking at the end of the round. And Poirier says, I can't believe you're taking this from me. And Cub Swanson says, uh, sorry, buddy, but uh, I really want this. I'm not going to give in, which is uh, which is very funny to see. So, yeah, it was a, it was a great fight. I love the, the way these two guys went at each other. Some of the, the lighter weight classes, there's like you feel like there's never a threat of a knockout. This one, there was definitely a threat of a knockout. That could have happened for sure. Um, he, had, he had Swanson in the first round, especially he had Poirier rocked a couple of times. And, uh, and vice versa, Poirier lands some great shots. So Swanson moves up the ranks. He's probably, I would put him as a top five guy. These guys are racked six or seven. Yeah, that seems about fair. Cobb Swanson's been on a bit of a tear at the moment. So it may well be that he fights someone like Lamas or the Korean Zombie or possibly even Dennis Siva um, or maybe even Frankie Edgar. And then if he wins, comes through that next fight, he gets a shot at the at the uh, champion, Jose Aldo. So he's very close to a title fight. I think he's one big win away from that. Poirier's got to pick himself off Dust. Pick himself up, dust himself off, and uh, get a couple of wins in, I think, before he gets a crack at the champion, Jose Aldo, who, of course, is now going to be fighting Anthony Pettis. Can't wait for that fight. That one should be absolutely amazing. So psyched for that. But, yeah, this has been MMA, bringing another fight review. Please remember to like and subscribe, and uh, keep your eye out for more videos, because they will be on the way, guys. See you later.